Hi, my name is Terry Sproul, and I want to welcome you to my studio. Tonight, again, is our Tuesday night live class, so if you're here with me live, I want to thank you. If you're not here with me live, join us on Tuesday nights at either 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or that's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, lots and lots of people in the room. I'm very excited about that. That's great. I love seeing all you guys showing up. Um, if you have a question, please put it in the um, chat on Google. And if you could put it in bold, it'd be, or not bold, but capital letters, it, we'd greatly appreciate it. I do have Joe here watching and helping me out on that. Um, if you're watching me over on YouTube, think about coming over to Google Hangouts and get yourself a Google Plus account. It's a little easier and I can see all the questions. But you can put a question up, it just takes a little while for it to come to me. So, Okay, a little bit of business before we get going here. Um, there is a design team call out for Sin City Stamps. You can find that over at sincitystamps.blogspot.com. So if you do want to do a join, join a design team, that's a really fun one. They have great products over there. They have stamps. They have chipboards. They have stencils. They have masks. They have some of my personal products, so <laughs> um, of my own stamps and stuff like that. Um, we're going to continue in the... Um, art journals tonight but I am going to address a couple things that people have been um, questioning over in my group on Facebook called All Things Terry Sprout and one of them is about pages sticking together so let me turn off this logo and that is my right down there that's my blog so if you need um, links go to that blog and you can find links for all the products I use the day after the show okay and all my old shows are there. So I'm turning off the logo and I'm changing cameras. Okay. This is a page we did a couple weeks ago. And I've had a lot of questions um, asked on my group page about having their pages sticking together in the journal. It's sticking, you know, and they're having to tear them apart, which we don't want to have happen. I agree. How do you address that? There is a couple ways that you can address it. One, yes, you could put wax paper in between each of your um, pages and it would not stick. I personally don't like that idea because when somebody's flipping through my art journal, I want them to see the big picture right off the bat. I want them to see that this is a full page layout um, as you know one single page. So I don't want them to have to pull out that you know piece of wax paper. So I suggest you get yourself um, some type of wax. This one, and I'm going to try to zoom in there so you can see the jar really well. And this one is called Dorland's Wax Medium. I got this at Dick Blick's, and you can order it online. Dorland's Wax Medium. I'm going to open it while we're real close still because I want you to see how it is. And I'm going to show you how I apply it. So you see it's really a thick, it's almost like um, like the wax that you would use for your shoes, to shine your shoes. It kind of has that same consistency. So it is very um, waxy. I mean, it feels like wax. It's, you know, that's how it works. What I do is exactly that. I take it on my finger and I rub it right into the page. And the reason your pages are sticking together, just for an FYI, it's the type of paints that you're using. If you're using any type of paint that has any, even the smallest bit of shine to it, those paints, the, the, the chemical, and I, I'm not a chemist, people, but the chemical that they put into those paints um, makes it be sticky for just a little longer than a normal... Um, uh, uh, paints that are completely matte. So I am just real quickly, I get a really good nice coat of paint on there, I mean wax on there, and I rub it in really deep. And it doesn't, if, if you do it right, if you rub it in really well, you shouldn't even have to buff it out. But you can, thank you for putting that um, up there. 
you can take a tissue afterwards after I've rubbed it in and kind of buff it out just a little bit so I will buff it out just a little bit and this gets any of the excess wax off that might be on there but as you've seen I use very little and now I have no waxy feeling or anything on my page it looks perfectly normal as if I didn't even wax it so as you can see there's no difference from where the page was before see that and now I should have no problems at all with my pages sticking together so I hope that um, helps you out this is actually the uh, journal that we've been using I am completely finished I'm working on this page right now this is a page I'm doing um, you know I start playing today actually this is the page we did last week and so this book is completely done let me pull my other one out and we'll also zoom out some and I am using the Cottonwood Arts Journal again that is Cottonwood Art Journal and I do buy them at Dick Blix and they uh, are they were on sale for 30 percent off I'm not sure if they still are but I love them. This one is a, um, I think it's a 5 by 9 I think is the size. Um, I like the way they lay flat. As you see the pages will lay completely flat. See that? So you can work on them really well. Um, the other thing that I really like about them is the pages are very thick. I don't know how well you can see how thick that is, but it's a nice thick page. I have not had any problems with bleeding or anything with my book so far, so I love, love, love my books. Okay, anyways, let's get playing, because I want to finger paint tonight. That means I'm really going to try not to use a brush much. So I'm just going to put some colors out on my table here and start getting a little bit of background done. Okay, come on out of there. This one doesn't want to come out. There it comes. And I'm just using um, right tonight basically cheap craft paint. Um, mainly, again, because of the colors, it has nothing to do with um, the type of paint or anything. I do tell you that I do like good paints, though, when I'm doing, you know, if I could if I could afford nothing but good paints that's what I would have my favorite paints are goldens and US art quest they're my favorite paints I'm gonna leave that one open because I know I'm gonna need more of that um, I'm gonna use that later okay so again I'm gonna use my fingers tonight I do have I am gonna cheat though a little I have a package of baby wipes on my lap hey. Hey, Terry, folks want to know what size jar you have of the wax, I guess. Okay. Of course, you'd ask me that when I'm completely blind and can't read this. Um, this is a four ounce. Oh, somebody just got a 20% off coupon in the mail today for Dick Blix. Perfect. There's quite a few of you guys in the room tonight, so do your questions are going by really quick. The name of the journal again is Cotton Wood Arts Cold Pressed Journal. Cotton Wood Arts. Okay. Okay, like I said, I'm just going to finger paint. So I'm going to grab a little bit of color and I'm just going to make some background right now. And I'm going to, you know. Try to keep my fingers pretty much the same. Oh. oh, well. It's a new journal. It needs to have a little bit of uh, paint on it somewhere, right? You missed the brand of the journal? The brand is Cottonwood Arts. There we go. Joe just put up the link for you guys. So I'm not really going to, the reason I like to finger paint every once in a while and the reason I want you guys to think about finger painting is you really do, your paint goes on a little differently with your finger than it does with, uh, with, um, with a paintbrush. So really play with that and see what you get out of it and, you know, just 
have fun one day. Just finger paint. So, um, took forever for my question to come up. What was your question? Did somebody get that answered for her? Angie had a question. Yeah, it does take a little while to come up, Joe. Or uh, Angie, I apologize for that. Um, that's why I ask you guys to do your best to put it in um, caps for me so that I don't miss it. She wanted to know the size of the jar, Terry, so we handled it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, it does take a little while to come up. I, I don't know how to do that any better. I, I like this format the best um, because of the fact that it does post directly to um, YouTube afterwards. So that's why I prefer this um, medium to use. Okay, I'm running out of fingers, so I'm going to clean one. I want to bring this cream in. You love finger painting? I like finger painting too. It's fun. And this is just going to be my base. I'm actually going to go on top of this and actually put um, somewhat of a design. So this really is going to be my base. This page, um, just like last week, didn't take us that long, so this one might work out to be the same. This might be a quick class. Well, that was a little excel a little crazy there, but that's okay. Remember when you do finger paint, though, remember our lessons that we talk about in um, the color wheel to make sure you don't put two colors that are going to... Um, blend and make brown unless that's what you want to have is brown so make sure you do get colors that won't um, make make mud for you I know people get upset when I say mud so I try not to say that too often okay okay I got a base done and again we're not um, hello from Australia hello Australia for joining me thank you I'm going to real quickly dry this because I want to do something over it. And the nice thing about finger painting is because you put it on so thin, it's almost dry. There's only a couple spots that I see that are wet. Okay, feels dry. See how quickly that dried because I barely had anything on it. Now at this point I actually want to um, draw. So I am going to come towards me here. And I just want to get kind of a base of how, what I want to put on here. And I am going to use this stamp tonight from Verses again. I'll read this again later, but it says, Life is short. Break the rules. Forgive quickly. Kiss slowly. Love truly, laugh uncontrollably, and never regret anything that makes you smile. Love that quote. Love that quote. So I know I'm going to use that tonight. So I am not the best drawer in the world. So I'm going to cheat and use a stencil of this bird. You could cheat and use a stamp. You could cheat and use... Oh, let me show you kind of what we're going after. This is kind of what we're going to do, but I'm going to use a totally different design. But you see the background? That's all finger painted, and that's what we're going to end up doing eventually. So I want to put a bird on here. I'm going to put this bird on here, here. The my stamp's going to go up there. I got it. So I'm just going to use my favorite black pen. This is the Scarlet Lime. This is my favorite black pen. If you are looking for a good one, this is a, uh, I did not give you this link, Joe. Um, it's scarletlime.com, actually. Um, this is the best marker I've ever used to go over top of acrylic paints. Okay. And then I'm going to do a general limb.
here for my and then again this is not perfect because I'm going to come back and fix it once I've got um, my colors kind of coming in then I usually come in with a lighter color I'm going to use this white I am going to use more of this cream and I love um, this kind of yellowish color so I'm going to use those three and I'm basically at this point I'm going to come into the background and I'm going to cover most of that anywhere it's going to need to be shaded I'm going to bring in that yellow and even if I lose my lines don't stress on losing your lines you can bring your lines back in you're just getting an idea actually I could do this upside down for you guys but I'm, I'm remembering that my shades down there so I'm just coming in and grabbing the colors again and look how the paint moves differently when you use finger painting let's see if I can get a little less glare on there for you there we go okay so I'm coming in in the background and I'm coloring it again and I'm using my whites and my kind of um, a cream here and I have a darker yellow I'm going to try not to go out of uh, and I'm going to pull in these pinks the colors that I used before let me pull out just a little bit for you sorry the colors I used before I'm going to bring those back in every once in a while I'm not going to make them the most dominant color because they're still in that background especially the way you finger paint see how it pulls the paint away and you can still pull that blue out from behind there it's just kind of this is a fun technique guys especially if I didn't do it perfectly this is where I can come in with my uh, paint and kind of fix my crappy drawing I see that selfish plug there Joseph <laughs> no I do all this work I don't have that chance <laughs> I just thought that was funny when I looked over there and read that. That was what. That At was least I called a spade a spade. You know what I mean? <laughs> At least I said, "This is a selfish plug," you know, and I put it up. And I, I found the uh, versus stamp. By the way, it's called Life's Rules, and I posted the number and the link on the site. It's very hard to find because I can't find a search box on versus. Ah. That would make it a lot easier, huh? But you see where this is going, how this is still coming out, but that background, even though you think, why did you do all that work in that background and you're going to paint right over it with your fingers? That's why, because it's still showing up back there. Now, I did miss the stencil, Terry, the bird. I've been trying to find it on multiple devices here. Um, actually, it is a very, very old one. That's why I didn't say. It's a very old one from Club Scraps probably like 100 years ago. There are very similar ones by Heidi Swap. Yeah, and any very any, similar. Basically, guys, if you can't draw, the I, the reason I picked that image is because it's a large open image. So that's what you're kind of looking for when you're looking for a um, stamp or a stencil that's going to work with this um, this this kind of idea. But again, if you can draw you don't even need to have a stencil you can just come in here with the uh, the paints and just go for it and draw with your your you know pen and not have to worry about a stencil I'm just not a very good drawer I admit it I'm getting better I practice a lot but I'm not the best not my forte checking out your selfish plug somebody's already checking you out there Joseph Telling you they check me out all the time, baby. I'm smooth. I'm fly. You saw that when you was out here. We fly oh, yeah. together. 
Oh. I'm not going to make it a whole other year if you're only visiting once a year. It's not going to work. <laughs> well, you got to come out here. You do, I don't go anywhere where there's no cell coverage. If there's no cell coverage, that is too remote for me. You need a passport, honey. I ain't going to the top of no mountain. <laughs> oh, you're no fun. You're no fun. My mountain's beautiful. You'd love it up here. That's not true. Well, you could go anywhere in California. We could stay down in a hotel down in California. So I am just continuing painting in my background in. I know I'm going to put my verse up here, so I'm going to make that a little lighter than anywhere else so that it comes out and gets my verse in there really quickly. Yeah, I apologize for the stencil, but really any stencil that you um, can you want to use will work out really well. And I think that one I found is really amazingly close. Yeah, I think there's actually one. Is it um, one from uh, oh, Heidi uh, Swap? I got Heidi Swap. Swaps. Okay, because I know there's a couple out there that have a very similar look to them. But you see where we're going? Isn't this lurking out like cool already? So now I usually at this point will come back in and define my lines a little because I kind of lose them a little bit when I draw or when I finger paint. So if I lost anything, this is where I'll come in and fix it. Get the drawing back in there. And I want to keep putting layers and upon layers on here and, and get it blend it out really well and not just one color. I'm just making the colors a lot softer the second time around. So if you like what we're doing, I am going to get back into giving prizes starting next week, I promise. I'm caught up on a lot of things and I'm going to start doing that. So start putting your pages and I, you guys who have been putting your pages up, don't worry. I've been seeing them and I have added you to my list. You can join my group on Facebook called All Things Terry Sproul. And you can post your pages that you are inspired by what I did. So tonight's inspiration will be finger painting. I want you to finger paint. I want you to try not to use a brush and I want you to actually finger paint. Use any stencil you want really or free draw it. Don't have to use a stencil. So there we go. Hey and Terry, I'm we need the name of the marker one more time. It is Scarlet Lime, and you can get it at scarletlime.com. This is the best black marker I've ever owned. It works right over top of acrylic paints, no problem at all. Um, now, at this point, you guys can really make a choice at this point. You could come in and leave that background the way it is, which I kind of like the bird and everything as is. Or you can actually come in and paint in, you know, like brown on the um, the stem, which I think I might bring a little bit in, but I really want it to be translucent. So I think, hold on, I know which one I'm going to use. Um, hold on, I'm getting some paint. I think burnt umber, but I don't know if that's transparent enough. Hold on. Looking, looking, looking. Yellow okra might do. Got a bird stencil at Home Depot. Well, there you go. You could probably get it at Home Depot for a lot cheaper than you would at uh, any of these craft stores. I'm adding just a little bit of glaze to this paint. I grabbed um, yellow okra and I'm adding a little bit of glaze to it just because 
I'm not sure how transparent it is because it doesn't say on it. It is yellow okra from US Art Quest because I want it to be a little transparent when I do my yeah there we go this is turning out better I'm doing the uh, stem so I'm just because I still want those background colors to come through but I want a little bit more of a stem color just to bring the stem out a little more my idea uh-oh, Dawn King is saying she didn't get her prize. She went a while back, Terry. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Um, email. Oh, were you right before my mother, my sister-in-law's death? My life is going crazy. If you were, email me again, please. I mean, over Facebook. I apologize. My, my life fell apart there for a little while. Okay, I like that. So yeah, I did use a little bit of brush there, but oh well. I think I'm going to put that stamp right there. But I think I need this. I don't like this over here, so let me come in here and fix this. I hate when things get lost in the mail, or I don't know if it got lost in the mail or if I messed that one up. Because like I said, I know life went kind of crazy there for me for a little while. Oh, didn't, sorry, didn't mean to be off camera. Yell at me when I do that. This was just too, wasn't showing up well enough for me, so I'm coming in and just giving myself a little bit. I know the way the paint, oh, Laura, Laura, you're playing along with me, huh? You'll, you'll really notice a difference when you guys, when you do this technique, how the paint moves differently with when you finger paint than it does with a brush. So, okay, Don, good. Um, thank you. But, um, so do try this technique because it really does kind of cool. And I think, um, I think it was, who was it that just said that? Uh, Laura. Yeah, Laura is, um, I think she's playing along with me because one of you guys asked me for supplies prior to class so it really does kind of move differently and it it almost I don't know how to explain to it it thins out really thin so it dries very easily and it really gives you a lot of um, I don't know you'll see when you do it it just it's just fun you can really thin out the paint too when you use your finger and get that, um, oh, I love the way this is turning out. Sorry, I just looked into my uh, camera, my, my desk here, to see what you guys are seeing. And like I said, I've said this before, it never amazes me how it turns out, how it looks a little differently there than me looking down at it. But I'm loving it. Completely loving it. I was going to do something with that bird, but I've decided I like him just the way he is, but he desperately needs an eye. So, we're just going to put a little eye in there, and I think I am going to add the wing. There we go. Give him a little detail. And then, I want to... I like to use, um, you want to use a permanent ink when you stamp on top of acrylic paints. Happy fingers. So I am going to use um, Indian ink tonight, but you definitely could use um, stays on black would work fine. Um, uh, um, archival paint or archival um, ink from um, Ranger works. So all of those would work. I'm just a big Indian ink fan. I am going to put this towards me. And I'm also going to put something underneath here because it is, even though it lays flat, I'm not going to get a really good stamp because of that. There's no cushion there. So let me grab something real quick. This is just one of those stamp pads. 
I'm going to put that under there and see if that helps give me some more oomph so I get a good stamp. Oh, forgot my stamp thing. Hold on. Thank God my studio's small. <laughs> and this stamp is from Versus. And you can find their stamps at versusrubberstamps.com. And again, it says, hold on, come here. It says, life is short, break the rules, forgive quickly, kiss slowly, love truly, laugh uncontrollably, and never regret anything that makes you smile. I like that one. Okay, so I'm doing a, uh, I'm Indian inking the, uh, this stamp up. And I hope I get a good image. A little blurry, but I can, I can work with that. I guess I moved it so it came out just a tad blurry but it's not bad I'm not gonna worry about it and you know if that ever happens and people are real upset just paint right over it and shoot again that's right <laughs> he has it exactly right I would just if this really freaked me out I would go in with my cream and I would just go right over that and clean it all up and I'd start again. But really, it's not that bad for me, so I'm not going to worry about it. Or just have another glass of wine. One way or the other, it'll be fine. There you go. And this made me smile, so I'm not regretting it. The stamp or me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Both. <laughs> so I like that page. It's another simple page, but I think it's a fun technique. And... Um, it made a beautiful page. Look how pretty that page is. And look at that. That's really, that's not that blurry. So, anybody have any questions? Um, any questions on either, like I said, either um, the wax that we did over here or the technique that we did tonight? I'm going to give it a few minutes because it does take a few minutes for it to pop up. That's the page I'm working on right now. I'll show you this, guys, when I'm all done. But I drew her face. Isn't she pretty? So actually what I'm going to do, just give you an idea, is I'm going to take um, uh, embossing paste and I'm going to do each of these flowers and whole head's going to be those flowers and then it's going to get mica put on top. So I'll show you that one. Okay, let me check again if there's any questions. I don't see any questions coming in from YouTube either, so I think we're good. Okay. You love it, Laura? Did it turn out really cool? I'd love to see it. Please put a... Um, all of a sudden, I am getting emails of comments, PM. I don't know how that's happening. Um, Gmail, Google will automatically email you the comments as they're coming in. So just delete the mail when you're all done. Yeah. It happens to me, Donna, constantly. Thank you. Angie said I made a nice place, and she's playing along. Good. Um... Danielle's late. <laughs> oh, and she, oh, and Laura is playing along, and she's finger pointing. So I can't wait to see your page. So I hope you like my page. I hope you think it was fun. I hope you try this technique. Um, I'm going to switch cameras. Say goodbye. Sorry about it. Sorry about my arm. I had to real quickly change the. Uh, um, 
light over so that it doesn't blare you out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, um, thank you again for joining me. It was another quick night. So again, think about in the summertime. I know you all want to play outside. Believe me, so do I. It's still daylight out there for me. Um, so do some quick journaling. Don't have to make it a really fancy, elaborate, you know, face page every day, okay? Have fun. Join me again next Tuesday, and thank you again. Bye.